give him credit, give David credit for having to, you know what, to make that kind of a change. Charles Davis, NFL on Fox, NFL Network. Charles, thank you very much. Enjoy your Wednesday, all right? Charles, thanks, man. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. You See got you, it. Always great talking to yeah, you. Good Charles. Good dude. Uh, make well. sure to... Rewards limitations apply. Discover Bank member FDIC. For 15, he got Kentucky in and up. lawsuits alleging they've skirted new European privacy rules. But Berkeley professor Deirdre Mulligan says pressure from regulators and advocates and employees is forcing companies to reconsider how they get information. I think we have like this confluence of energy saying, hey, you haven't been attentive. The contract could add to public pressure. Berners-Lee himself suggested his pact isn't just about enforcing new data rules, but changing attitudes about them. I'm Ben Bradford for Marketplace. Now back to the election, some ballot measures we covered. In Maine, a bid to raise taxes to pay for free home health care aids for the elderly and the disabled appears headed for serious defeat. On big companies to pay for services for the homeless. In New York, I'm David Brancaccio. With
to WOAK 90.9 FM, LaGrange, Georgia. USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. President Trump tweeting a short time ago about the midterm election results saying that so many people have congratulated him on the big victories last night. Republicans appearing to increase their majority in the U.S. Senate, though Democrats did regain control of the U.S. House. Former White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci says the way things went, the president may end up working with Democrats more closely. First of all, this is a resounding victory for the president. He's gaining seats in the Senate, and he lost some seats in the House, but it was not a blue wave. As for governor's races, it was kind of a toss-up. Republicans getting high-profile wins in Florida, and it looks now like Georgia may go their way as well. But Democrats gained gubernatorial seats in Kansas and Michigan. And this is USA Radio News. A familiar political voice. He was a governor, and he ran for the White House. And... we've done wrong, but Dr. Evans says that taking God's judgment series In Stockbridge favor on Tuesday evening, as of 11.30 p.m. Tuesday, no had 1,517 votes or 50 Assuming he's going to be in there. If he's playing Sunday, he's playing on pass rush situation in pass rush. Grab a six-pack of Elysian Night Owl at your local grocery store or convenience store and sip up the spice brew within the comfort of your friends and family. authorized carrier dealer. Cool Ray is supersizing their no-breakdown guarantee with a credit up to $250 toward any repair if your furnace breaks down after your... Virginia jumped up to number nine, and with Oklahoma sitting at number six, there's a possibility of back-to-back -back games for those two. We ain't no game. No. Like paint blobs, but okay, if you say so. I'm on the top, but I'm on mute. I'm a bus over style cause she cute. I'm on the yacht, I've been on pool. Yeah. 